this is like a perfect style for a half up half down situation without actually comb rolling or doing a full slick pony this is also a heatless style so if you don't want to put heat on your hair this is perfect for you as well and if you don't have any bundles laying around but you have some clippings this is the style for you so let's go ahead and get right into today's story hey girl hey i am working with freshly co-washed hair i co-washed my hair yesterday and i also did a little scalp treatment i'm about to jump into today's style i found this cute style on pinterest yesterday and i was like i have to do it this is my inspo and however my hair turns out girl i try my best to recreate the look i'm also about to add in my clippings that i got from girls queen this is the same hair from my previous video a while back of me putting in clippings i love this hair it's so soft it's so beautiful it's so thick and it matches my texture really 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 well like down to the color and everything i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair and put these clips all in my head then in terms of doing the curls i really want to do heatless curls i'm gonna try to use these flexi rods along with a little bit of mousse so this is what we are looking like. I want to hit a section of the top part of my head. Back here is going to be all the clippings. And then at the top is going to be the rubber pants. result in using heat and I don't want to do that um, I'm going to fully saturate all the hair not really the roots I'm not too worried about those but this down here honey definitely needs to be saturated and I'm gonna brush that through so it can be evenly distributed and I don't want my hair to be like curly at the roots for real cuz I need my hair to like lay flat so I'm going to start about two inches down and I'm going to get my flexi rod and I'm going to put a hook in it and then I'm going to start wrapping the hair and I'm going to wrap it tightly because once these curls fall they're going to be loose. So yeah. Also don't put too much mousse at the bottom because if it's too wet it won't stay on the flexi rod. And then I'm going to put a hook in it so it stays. So this is what we have in terms of the actual flexi rod. And then I'm just going to like fold her so she stays. Alright now, <laughs> we're going to do the other time. Now I will say if this don't work. I could also try to use this, but I just feel like I have way too much hair for this because I only have one of those. So yeah, I don't think that will work either. Okay, I'm sorry y'all. My camera started to overheat, so I had to take a break. I went ahead and put this flexi rod in on this side as well. And then I started to do one, which you can see my hair is like super poofy, but I took it out because... I have to some way incorporate the front of my hair into the curls as well. So we're going to go ahead and start putting in the rubber bands. 
because my little short pieces in the front cannot just be out okay they have to be included in some way somehow so first so first I'm gonna give myself a middle part and this middle part has to be perfect so I'm gonna use some shining jam and put that directly on my scalp so we can perfect it this is all I have on hand right now, so yeah. I literally decided to do this style yesterday. And then you're going to do like a curved part on each side. Like, kind of like you're doing a side part. Something like that. Everybody wanna say shit I don't care what they say about us now I don't wanna have no conversation They just wanna fuck it all up now yeah. I like bad bitches, mad bitches If you ain't 100, then you can't sit with us If you ain't 100, then you can't sit with us Everybody swear they know about us But you only know what I told ya You only know what I show ya I lost too many soldiers Put my heads up We only get older Bad bitches, mad bitches. If you ain't 100, then you can't sit with us. And you can't sit with us. I like bad bitches, mad bitches. If you ain't 100, then you can't sit with us. We took a little intermission because I had to figure out what I'm going to do with all this thick ass hair. I'm going to have to put a braid in my hair because my hair is too thick and it's too bluntly cut. This will never, ever in life <laughs> neatly blend in with some clippings. A half head of clippings at that. Like, no. So, luckily I always keep some braiding hair on deck. This is the free trust braiding hair. Um, it's in the length 68 and it's a three pack and it's in the color 1B. So if your hair is thin or not bluntly cut like mine is, you probably will be able to just either put these in two ponytails. I've seen many people do that and you could do ponytails, but I don't have any like loose bundles right now. That would have been my first like option or you could also um, just straighten your hair if you're okay with straightening, straightening it and then like, you know, just blending it in that way with heat. You will be fine, but even if I was to do that, my hair was still, you would still be able to see this line of demarcation right there, and that's not what I want. And I'm just going to section out some pieces of hair about this thickness to add to my braid. So basically, I'm just going to braid, and I'm going to connect this piece of hair with this hair, and then once I get to the ends, I'm going to start incorporating braiding hair. Fingers crossed it's come out cute and I'm also going to take flexi rods at the end and curl, curl them with the flexi rod. And I'm going to have to dip that in hot water because that's the only way you can get braiding hair to curl. Lord have mercy, I did not want to braid my stinky hair, but here we are, we all do what we all do.
to line her up with the hair and then I'm gonna do it a little shorter because usually the hair is gonna be curled so it needs to end maybe like about here so I'm gonna start like uh, up here <laughs> and I'm just going to wrap the braid around because worst case scenario your braid is too long and it it's longer than the hair in the back that's going to look crazy but if your braid is like super short you can pull at it and change the length so i'm literally just wrapping this flexi bra around her any way that i can to make her stay all right so this is what the braid looks like and it is it's cute i ain't gonna lie it's actually cute i actually like this better than the original style that i found <laughs> So now I'm going to do the same exact thing to this side and everything is looking really cute or whatever. So boom, this is, this is the situation that I have. Now it's time to finish putting in the flexi rods in the back of the head. I'm using a generous amount because I want to make sure that they actually end up forming a curl. And then you're going to start curling. I think I want my curls in the front to go towards my face. I don't know. Sometimes I like the way that looks. And it's easier for me to like wrap the hair. So now we just wrap, 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 wrap. Doing my left side is so easy. My right side be a struggle. And when you get to the bottom, you are going to curl her up. And then I just like to bend it. I'm not looking forward to sleeping with these in my head. Honestly, truly, not going to lie to you, but I think the style is going to be worth it in the end. Fingers crossed. So, yeah, now I'm going to do that two more times. And also, if you don't want to sleep with these in your hair, you can always sit under a hooded cap. I don't have one of those, so you can also... Um, use a a cap that you attach to your blow dryer they have some of those on amazon i'm gonna show y'all the back of my head don't laugh at me I'm sure you can see the clippings right now, but you won't be able to see them when the hair is done. I'm going to put on my scarf and my bonnet. I love this bonnet. It's from Curls Queen as well. It's like the best bonnet ever. I'll see y'all in the morning. It's the next morning clearly, and now it's time for the final review. When I say I dip these in boiling hot water, I mean boiling like from my tea kettle. Came out perfect, perfect little coil. These were so uncomfortable to sleep in, I wanted to cry. I didn't get no sleep. I really didn't get no sleep, y'all. Like, I was sick boots. I woke up like so many times. Okay, it's just my hair is fuzzy right there, you see? They look cute though, I just got a little fuzz. Because that mousse, it made my hair curl up. Maybe if I did this on dry head, it would have been better. But I don't know if it would have held the curl well on dry hair. I don't know. Now that I have them all out, I'm going to gently, as gently as possible, just separate them. The mousse on the actual like bundles did so well. Like, do you see how it held that curl? That looks great. They are nice and dry. I just can see exactly where my hair is. Okay. She's not the worst. She's cute. She's cute. I'm about to, I'm about to go ahead and do my edges. I love Style Factor Edge Booster. It's my favorite edge control.
Also, another thing, if your curls don't come out cute, you can always just wand curl them and it'll be perfect. Like, a wand curler is a perfect substitution if you don't have, like, flexi rods because it'll give that bro curl. Y'all just, as I said earlier, y'all know I'm just really trying to stay away from the heat. You will definitely see me wearing this style again. Ooh, with some curly water wave bundles in the back for the summertime would be so cute. So y'all, this is the final product. Is she perfect? No. Is she cute? Yes. And she will be perfect once I make some tweaks to it to really make sure that my natural hair blends in with the extensions. But I love the vibe. I love the vision. She's, I'm a perfectionist. So I'm really hot on myself. But I will rate this style 8 out of 10. Once I figure out how to mold my hair perfectly, she will be a 10 out of 10. And this will be my go-to style because it was so easy to do. I actually ended up loving the little braid. Like... That looks cute to me, okay? So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this style, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Yeah, comment down below what other hairstyles you want me to do next, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, mamas.